Hello, hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good. Uh, welcome to the second Cloud Native Security Con that we're putting together. It's very exciting to kind of be back here uh, in, in Seattle, bringing together our uh, security-minded folks within the CNCF community. Uh, I plan to be a little bit uh, brief today on kind of the welcome and opening uh, you know, remarks here. I just kind of really want to talk about some of the work that is happening in the CNCF community, and I think some of our shared responsibility uh, in this room to really improve uh, the state of uh, security across the Cloud Native ecosystem, because you know, I'm sure some of you uh, pay attention in news like I do. It's like usually every week or almost every day there's, you know, something crazy that happens on the security side, uh, especially involved in open source. Uh, just recently, the, the polyfill issue that came up, I'm like, yep. You know, just another another day in the life uh, of, of 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 our open source uh, you know life here. So, to kind of uh, you know start off with a message here. You know, I think it's truly our responsibility as a uh, open source community to come together and really improve uh, the state of security practices uh, in our ecosystem because, you know. All the stuff that we've kind of built and people use in this room is becoming critical for the world's majority workloads. And you know, when there is an issue that pops up, it affects everyone uh, in, in this room. So I think really it is it is you know time for us to come together as more and more of CNCF. Uh, projects get used to really improve uh, things. And we've been doing some great work, which I plan to talk about, but I really kind of want us to, you know, share this thought with you and kind of keep it with you. That is truly all of our responsibility to make things, uh, you know, better within the community. So, you know, how, how can we actually, you know, get there? Uh, luckily, I think we've been doing some great work. Uh, you know, we, you know, I personally spent a lot of time listening to folks that are a lot more uh, experts in security uh, than I am. We have a great, great community that I'll talk about a little bit. Um, a lot of you may not aware, CNCF does a lot of funding of security audits. We do a lot of research. Uh, we provide great resources for our projects and, and we have great training resources. So to kind of uh, talk a little bit about our, you know, experts that we kind of, you know, talk to here is the, the, the ecosystem of, you know, CNCF projects, we have about almost 200 now, and if you go into the crazy little landscape, you know, that we have and you kind of dive into the security and compliance section, you could see that, yeah, we have a lot of different projects out there. You know, we have Falco, Opa, you know, Tuff and Toto, uh, Keyclo, there, there's a variety of different projects that all serve a kind of a unique role within the ecosystem, and they all have their kind of special voice and, and expertise to kind of aid in helping, you know, improve the security in, in our ecosystem. But, you know, one thought that I kind of want to leave, this is, this is not the only aspect of, you know, security within our ecosystem. I think to do security properly, we all understand that security is a cross-cutting concern, right? To do security properly, you also need good observability. So we have projects like OpenTelemetry and Prometheus that are also very useful there. So, um, you know, the, the ecosystem is vast that we have here and, you know, work always continues to kind of improve, um, you know, security within CNCF. We've had some recent projects that have kind of, you know, uh, gone through evolutions in CNCF. Uh, Cilium recently uh, graduated not so long ago within, within the last year, and, you know, Falco uh, recently too this year became a graduated project. And these are all great things that truly improve, um, you know, the kind of security and maturity in, in our ecosystem. I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, CNCF, we fund uh, a lot of security audits. We've spent uh, multiple millions of dollars over the years of funding uh, security, salsa audits, uh, fuzzing. We add a lot of fuzzing support to kind of catch crazy issues. And we've hit uh, a good chunk of our kind of incubating and graduating projects out there, but you know, we have 200, almost 200 projects and we'll continue uh, to, to do this work and kind of improve the baseline uh, security for our projects. Uh, we also have a great uh, security group uh, within CNCF called the Cloud Native Security Tag. Uh, they produce great research and papers. Um, they have uh, papers around supply chain uh, best practices, a general Cloud Native Security white paper, uh, a fuzzing handbook uh, for those who are new to fuzzing and you kind of want to learn how to add it to your project or product. There's a handbook uh, for there. Um, we are also going to be announcing, um, you know, survey results. We do this kind of Cloud Native Security survey every year and, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to share some tentative uh, tidbits, you know, there from you. But, you know, in general, there's been uh, a positive improvement over the last couple years where most organizations, 85% are improving, that they have done some good work uh, to improve their practices. Um, there are also a lot of challenges uh, kind of in our community. And, you know, one thing that's interesting is uh, things that tend to be automated and easier to roll out 
people adopt. Things that uh, are a little bit more painful, more manual, pen testing, uh, you know, code reviews tend, tend to lag. So just a fundamental lesson for us, you know, if we make it easier uh, to adopt things through automation and improve developer experience, people uh, will, will, will adopt it. Um, we have an amazing organization within CNCF called the uh, Security Tag. Uh, it was a cute little raccoon logo that I'm a that, that I'm a fan of. But um, you know they're truly the place that is responsible for uh, uh, advising uh, the CNCF community um, leadership and and you know folks in the wider ecosystem of great great uh, practices and they produce great papers research and I encourage everyone in this room to kind of get involved uh, in in that community uh, and also. You know, no community is built without hard individuals uh, that kind of show up that, you know, sometimes even volunteer uh, time outside of their day jobs. I kind of personally would like to thank, uh, you know, the kind of the current chairs, Pushkar, Marina, and Eddie, who do an, incre an inc incredible job bringing everyone together. Uh, a variety of the tech leads, Justin, Ash, Andres, who I just ran into, uh, Rakeshdi, Michael, and John, that are amazing folks that kind of really provide technical expertise. And, you know, this would have not got started with some of the emeritus folks, uh, Dan Shaw and, and Sarah Allen, who kind of did the initial work and JJ, uh, Emily, Brandon, um, Aranha, and, and Andrew Martin, who are just fantastic individuals. So thank you uh, all for all the initial work, and you know, to me, has built one of the most, you know, um, you know, perennial open source security groups uh, in, in, in the industry in the world. So let's give them a, a, a good uh, hand for all their all their work that they've done uh, over over the years. Uh, kind of to wrap things up pretty quickly, um, you know. Obviously, uh, you know, education on security practices. You know, we have a lot of free stuff out there, the fuzzing handbooks, the papers, but we also have great uh, certifications out there. Uh, we have now a intro Kubernetes and Cloud Native Security Associate um, uh, certification, and this is really meant for people that are brand new to the space of security and cloud native security. Highly recommend uh, folks take that one, and we have the advanced CKS one, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit more Kubernetes uh, and hands-on, a little bit brutal, probably our hardest uh, of, of the bunch. Uh, and of course, we have a lot of intro um, to you know classes out there like Intro to Cilium, Falco, etc., that exist out there. Um, we also work with our peer organizations. We have a sister organization called the Open Source Security Foundation at the Linux Foundation that kind of is a little bit more broader focused than just purely cloud native. They have a lot of great uh, research, papers they do. Um, they also try to solve hard problems. Uh, you know, why do we have multiple SBOM formats? Who knows, but there's a new initiative called Protobomb uh, out there that's trying to unite the world. So kudos to the OpenSSF and trying to solve some of these hard problems. But we love to work with our, you know, peers uh, out here. And so to kind of, with my final, you know, thought uh, here is, you know, you know, it's great to see all here coming together. Uh, you know, hopefully, all learn something new about security, meet some new people. But you know, I, I think we all kind of have to work together uh, across open source foundations, across open source projects, across companies to all kind of improve the state of all the software that we depend on. So, uh, you know, for you know, my bit of advice here: if you're a company that is dependent on CNCF software try to employ a maintainer or fund a vendor that employs maintainer. Like every little thing that we do to kind of improve the, the basic state of uh, our, our projects and the stuff we all depend on will help uh, us, you know, all. And, um, you know, uh, join CNCF. Join Tag Security, support OpenSSF. There's a lot of great organizations doing great work. And you know, to, to kind of you know end things here is um, you know this is a, a more of a boutique and smaller event than uh, the KubeCon that some of you probably attend, and which to me is great because it's much easier to meet people you know face to face uh, and, and kind of really spend quality time. So uh, please enjoy uh, the this you know second Cloud Native Security Con, and you know over the next couple of days, I truly hope you learn something new, meet someone new and maybe discover a new open source uh, practice or, or project that is beneficial to you. So thank you again for uh, coming in and supporting uh, the second Cloud Native Security Con, and I hope to see many of your faces over the next uh, couple days. So thank you very much, and please enjoy the uh, event.